Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. I'm very excited to share with you the Air Duct Generator, which is a product I've been working on with Peter Holwig. So just like the Pipes Generator, which we launched a little while ago, this Air Duct Generator is a character object generator. So the good news is that if you don't have the full studio version of Cinema 4D, which has the character object, if you don't have that, you can still use this product. Because what we did was we took all the 85 plus different components of air ducts that we created, and we split those out and put them into a Lib4D so that you can access all of these different component parts and piece them together yourself uh, just using your content browser. So that's if you don't have the full studio version, you're also going to be able to use this product. Um, we also created 15 full preset rigs that you can just add to your scene really quickly. So hopefully that will be of good use to you. But if you do have the full studio version, this product goes even further and it uses the character object so that you can create your own preset rigs really Really quickly. So let me walk you through the install really quick and then we'll jump into showing you the details of the product. So when you get the product we have a bunch of different pieces. The first is the Lib4D which contains 85 different component pieces and then also 15 full preset rigs. And just like every other Lib4D you're going to go to your Maxon folder and go to your library and your browser and just go ahead and copy that lib 4 d over into your browser. Um, besides that we have this folder called air duct generator and this is the character object. Right underneath your browser in here we have this characters folder. So what we're going to do is take this air duct generator, we'll go ahead and paste this into our characters. Go ahead and confirm the password. Alright so now we have our character object in there. Now we need to add the associated textures. So you can see we have this text folder. Um, if we backtrack to the main Maxon folder, at the bottom we have this text folder. Now, if this is empty and doesn't have a text folder inside of it, you can just copy and paste this guy right over into here. But because I have the pipes generator in here already, uh, we already have a text folder from a previous product. So in that case, what you're going to need to do is copy all the textures individually, just hit copy, and put them inside that text folder. So we'll hit paste and now they're all pasted in there. And that should be all you have to do for install. Um, also included in this download, you have a cheat sheet, and that's just a little PDF showing all the different component pieces in case you're trying to find a specific piece. You can uh, locate it here. And the little icon in the left-hand corner of each of these photos corresponds with the character object, so you'll be able to find the piece really easily. Um, we also have a manual, which just kind of goes over some best practices of how to use it, some tips, and it lays out the different pieces involved. And then we have an install readme which shows you where the different pieces go in case you need a reminder. So that's the product, and now we can jump into Cinema 40 and check it out. Okay, so if you don't have the character object, which is right here, uh, in the full studio version, uh, you can just go to your uh, library and you can go through all the component parts and you can add pieces and they all fit together really nicely. You can snap them together and create your own features or you can use one of the preset rigs. If you do have the full studio version, go to your character and add a character object. And in your drop down for the templates, you can see that we have the air duct generator. Go ahead and click that and you have to add a air duct root. And you can see we get our piece here, and now we are off to the races and ready to roll. So if we click on our um, air duct at any point, we will be in this building tab. If you wanna move any parts, you go to your adjust tab. So make sure you're in build, and then you'll get all these options for components. So the way this template works is we have square pieces and we have round pieces, and then we have connectors in between the two. So if we add a straight duct, it's gonna just extend that a little bit farther. If we ever wanna add a support, go ahead and click on a support, and let's say that we wanted to move that uh, support around. All we have to do is click on the adjust tab, and then we can move that piece around. So if we want it to be somewhere in the middle, uh, and then if we want to go back to our building, just click on the build tab and you can keep on adding parts. So right now you can see we don't have any available components. That's because our support is highlighted. We need to go back to that straight duct piece and then we get all of our options. So then if we want to add a T section, we can do that. Um, and then we'll start building off to the side on this T section. So now we have all these options to add over there. If we want to expand it from a rectangular to a full square one, we can click an expander and then we're gonna get um, some options for making square ones. So then we can add a straight square duct and we'll get a bigger duct like that. All right, um, let's see here. If we wanna stop this one, we can add a end filter and that'll add a little filter at the end. And now we'll, let's say that we wanna go back to our main straight piece here and continue on this way. 
We just have to go back to that piece, which is the straight duct. And now we have options here, so we can add another piece and we're off to the races going this way. So you can see it's a ton of fun to work with. You just uh, pick your component, add it, and off you go. So let's say that we wanted to go down to a uh, round one. So we have this reduce 80 by 40 to a round 30. So we're gonna click on that. And now you can see we have a reducer to a round tube and we can go ahead and add a straight duct. And now we have a round one. So, and then we have all these different options that are specific to the round ones. So let's say that we wanted to make a turn. Let's go ahead and add a round 30. And you can see that it only makes a slight turn. We could add a bunch of those. Let's go ahead and hit undo. Or we can use this little twirl down arrow, which gives us more options. So if we wanted to do a 180, we could do that. Or we could do a 90 degree, make a turn. And then we could add an expander to go to a larger tube. So if we add a straight duct, you can see that we also have the options for a larger diameter tube. If we have a straight duct and it's going up, there's a couple other component pieces that have these cables attached to them as well. And they make sense, like over here, if we're, you know, they're going up towards the ceiling. But if we take a turn and have this air duct heading straight up, these cables no longer make sense because they're going out to the side. And that's where your adjust mode comes in handy. So if we click on the adjust tab, we can see all these different little pieces have dots on them, right? This is how you're going to change the size of all the pieces. So let's see this little blue dot, if we click it, we can just slide it over and that will change the size of that pipe. So we can make it longer or shorter. It's really easy to do that, but you can also adjust these little cables. So we have this green dot, make sure you click right on it and slide these over and put it right inside of that uh, air duct and then it's going to disappear. So if you have cables that don't make sense, just slide them into the middle of the piece and they will disappear and then you're good to go. Um, besides that, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Just have fun, go to the build tab and just start clicking on things. One last thing I wanted to mention is if you go to your content library and you want to use some of these presets, a lot of them have Espresso rigs on them. So if we click on this guy and if we hit play, you'll notice that the fan spins. Everything that has a fan um, automatically is um, animating. And then if we go to our air intake, we have our user data. You can adjust the speed of how fast that thing is turning. We can go ahead and add a diaphragm damper. And if we look at the espresso rig on that, we can open and close the damper. You can see it's uh, opening and closing that iris. If we add a control damper, you can see that we have espresso data to lengthen uh, the attachment rods, which all the pieces have. If they have rods, you can go ahead and change the height. And then also we can adjust uh, open and close. So quite a few of these presets have um, animated features. So let's go ahead and check out our security camera. If we look at this guy, you can see that our aperture is actually animating. So we have that, and then we also have camera tilting up and down and left and right. And finally, I just wanna let you know that we do have a money back guarantee. If you purchase it and aren't completely happy with it, just let me know and I will get you a refund. So I hope that you enjoy this product. It's been a lot of fun to make and I hope that you find some great use out of it. Thank you guys. We'll talk to you next time.